So I was talking to Christian people in the southern United States where Christianity is more important than anywhere else in America. You know, everybody in the south is very much about being a Christian person or a Catholic as well, right? And a lot of the American military that comes from there is the reason that they go to a Muslim country and they just bomb the shit out of everything. You know, the Americans aren't quite sure why Muslim people are another religion over there. It's kind of a, a unique fact of history and society. And anyways, I made a conclusion as a Hollywood star. I realized that in Africa, there is actually the majority of Muslim extremist terrorists, right? So people from the South noted that I noted uh, that in a certain part of Africa, you know, it really is worse than anywhere else, but Muslim extremism in general there, because African Americans don't build Africa to first world countries, it then becomes insane how there's so many Muslim extremists there, and then it possibly affects an African American, because African Americans are not actually Christian at all, uh, except for the ones that came from Ethiopia. So technically they're all a Muslim person, any, any black person in America and the United States, they're all technically a Muslim person. Uh, it's funny how they all thought they were Christian, but yeah, since they don't go home and build African countries and make them a first world country, then you get that much Muslim extremism there and it becomes some insane land of people that are not even Ethiopian Christians at all. That's the only country in Africa where they did choose Christianity, right? So the funny thing then being is uh, God then has a message for people, I guess. Uh, you know, Muslim extremism then even affects the black man in America soon here because he did not build his home countries. Uh, he could have had first world countries. Africa was really nice, you know, I mean, now the Chinese are gonna take it all and build it there, I guess, instead. So, you know, it's something interesting to see in the future. And another thing that's ridiculous about the Muslim extremist terrorists in Africa is they call themselves an N-word in that way, instead of calling themselves an N-I-G-G-A, like, you know, like black people were trying to make a thing of Freemasonry in America. I'm not kidding you, you know, it's quite an interesting religious fact, right? So, people in the South often don't know why a black person is trying to fuck with their head about the US dollar bill having a third eye with a pyramid on top of it, you know? And, uh, I could never really get them on multiculturalism in that kind of way, so... I don't know, and I finally realized that's, that's really why. <laughs> that is really why, actually. Southern hospitality, I suppose. <laughs> It's funny when people who aren't from the South try to talk to people from the Southern United States because, you know, they're really a different kind of a person, honestly. Just the way they speak English, they don't even fucking understand the average person talking to them. Like, if you're not for, even from, like, that part of America only, they don't really usually understand what the fuck you're saying. You gotta talk to them in a certain kind of a way. Um, so they're from the South, right? So, I do know how to talk to them, unlike most people. It's funny when fucking people from other countries start to try to talk to them. That's, you know, he should make a comedy out of that, almost, it really is. I considered it, you know, possibly a comedy to make. People from the South talking to people from other countries, especially Muslims. Yeah. At least people from the Southern United States know where uh, white people from America came from. And they think it's funny when black Americans don't know that they came from an African country once upon a time. You know, and, like, they're not going to make that a country at all. Uh, does seem kind of strange, honestly. Everybody else has a first world country by now, you know? Pretty much the whole fucking world is a first world country, so... Southeast Asia and all that, yeah. Except for Africa, that's the only place where they don't got a first world country. You'd think they'd build it. I mean, how many billionaires in America that are black, they got enough money to build African countries? It all could have been a first world country there by now. I would have liked to tour it. I would have liked to see African designer clothing, you know? I mean, I'm not a person who would have just wore Italian clothing or French clothing in life. Japanese make a lot of designer clothing as well, so... Yeah, I don't know why they don't do that. They could have had a country. Instead, they're in the America trying to pretend they're black Americans only and they don't... They don't know where they came from. They're not from Africa. They're trying to pretend they're not African at all. <laughs> all right. And they're like the dumbest fucking person from the southern United States that's white. They know where their fucking family came from. They think that black kid talking that is fucking stupid. 
I think part of the reason that that happens in Africa is not just you know all the black Americans pretending they're Christian when they're not actually even from Ethiopia and they're not even from a Christian country, right? It's also the fact that uh, black people are always hating everybody but themselves mostly. Even if they don't technically, they're even usually way more racist than any other culture. Well, they often think it black only. You know, if they're with whites or Asians or whatever, they ain't even want to spend time with you at all. And that's part of the reason that Muslim extremism then fucking flourishes in Africa other than them not building a first world country there. Another valuable point, uh, all white women look at black men especially, and even black women, like, uh, well, she doesn't put makeup on, and white women put makeup on, and, like, they can never handle black people, is honestly it. And she doesn't have any clue why her fucking boy is trying to play hip-hop music around her, and she goes and plays pop music and sulks at the fact that he even thought, like, that fucking nigger is taking over her radio because, like, she remembers when her white man owned that. That's, like, all white women ever think, you know. It's pretty fucking ridiculously oddly it. And since California is in the south of America, you know, not southern American countries, but in the southern United States, right, uh, they really have to agree with the rest of the people in the south. Uh, or they'll get mad and they'll go riot there or some shit like that. And they don't want to see that. People in the South getting mad, okay? They got more guns than any other fucking people in the United States. But if you do a psychological test on black people, like, they always hate everybody but themselves. They're the only person that hates everybody else. Like, fucking the Chinese don't even... Uh, they just hate Indians and fucking Africans. Yeah, no. White people are the only one, like, trying that hard to be multicultural in the world. <laughs> other than Asians, really. Yeah. Yeah, black people always hate everybody but themselves. If you're not black, they fucking hate you. Test them. Do a psychological test on any single black person, African, African American around. Or that's how they don't make it to the NIGGA status. God just thought I'm ridiculous, other than the fact they don't build a country anywhere in Africa. You know, what's that even about? Is mean, the year 2024, kid? Like none of you people are poor. They're all some suburban fucking idiot with like fifty thousand dollars in the bank. All it takes to build a city in Africa is like 10,000 American dollars. Okay, you fucking take American money to an African country, that's the fucking difference it makes. Yeah, it really does not take much. Okay, any millionaire in Africa could build a whole entire African country. Just importing shit from China, you know, first world country all of a sudden. Uh, really, you know, uh, fuck, it's easier than building any other country. 